For our problem number 1, an iron block weighs 5 newtons and has a volume of 200 cubic centimeters. What is most nearly the density of the block? So there are 4 choices here. Lahat yan ay naka kilogram mass per cubic meters. So solution for this. We all know that the density have a formula of mass over volume. So may binigay guys na volume which is 200 cubic centimeters and also there is a given weight of okay, 5 newtons so how do we solve for the mass first so in order for us to get the mass mga galing siya dito sa formula ng weight na mass times the gravity or yung g natin so mass will be weight over the gravity or gravitational acceleration we have 5 newtons over uh, 9.81 ang unit ng g natin is uh, meters per square second ok so meters per square second yung ating uh, g so since yung newton natin convert natin yan magiging 1 newton is equal to 1 kilogram mass multiplied by meters per square second so, palitan natin si Newton. Magiging ganito na ngayon siya. 5 uh, kilogram of mass multiplied by meters per square second. So, cancel si meters per square second. Kaya, magiging unit dyan ng mass mo ay naka kilogram mass. So, lalabas na uh, sagot dyan sa ating mass is uh, 0.51 kilogram mass. So, itong mass na to magagamit na natin para makuha si density. So, density, denoted by the symbol rho, rho yung parang p yan na may kurba. So, yan yun is uh, 0 0.51 kilogram mass. And since sa choices natin lahat na cubic meters, convert natin si 200 cubic centimeters papuntang cubic meters. So, there are 100 raised to 3 cubic centimeters in 1 cubic meter. So, cancel out centimeters or cubic centimeters. So, makuha natin dyan is uh, 2,550 kilogram of mass per cubic meters. So, ito yung sagot natin sa ating problem number 1. So, letter D. So, proceed tayo sa problem number 2. Problem number 2, if the density of a gas is 0 0.003 slugs per cubic foot, what is most uh, nearly the specific weight of the gas? So, solution for this, we have the formula for the specific weight, which is, Density times the gravitational acceleration. Okay? So, pwede kasi natin i-denote din yung formula ng uh, specific weight, which is weight over volume. Okay? So, dito lang kasi nang galing yan eh. Kaya, di ba, pag dinerive natin yan, yung weight kasi is equals to mass times gravitational acceleration. So, since may denominator kang volume, kaya yung mass over volume mo, Density yun. Na multiply sa gravitational acceleration. So, ito siya. Nung gagamitin natin. Okay? And then, magkakaroon lang naman tayo dito ng unit analysis. So, hiningi kasi sa atin is specific weight na naka newtons per cubic meters. Mapansin nyo naman, lahat ay naka newtons per cubic meters. So, convert lang naman natin. So, specific weight is equal to density. So, point... 003 slugs so yung slugs guys is also a unit of mass so cubic foot and then syempre multiply din natin sa kanyang gravitational acceleration which is dahil si Rabi sa problem or sa choices natin nakalagay ay naka SI unit yan so gagamitin natin is 9.81 
unit meters per square second. And then, next mong gagawin dyan, conversion na tayo dyan. So, in terms of slug to kilogram, there are 14.59 kilogram of mass per slugs. Okay? So, magkakancel yung slug mo. Okay, next mong gagawin dyan. Uh -huh. So, there are 0.3048 cubic meters or rather meters sa kada 1 foot. So, ikukubi natin yan. Kasi, gagawin natin dyan, kailangan makancel out si cubic foot. So, cancel si cubic foot, matira is cubic meters yung ibaba. And then, ang magiging kalalabasan ng sagot mo kasi dyan, magiging ganito. So, magiging 15.16. Ang unit dyan na matitira is kilogram mass multiplied by meters per square second. And then, meron ka pang denominator na cubic meters. So, sinabi ko kanina na meron tayong conversion uh, in 1 uh, newton. So, 1 newton, meron tayong 1 kilogram of mass multiplied by meters per square second. So, ang mangyari, itong kilogram mass per meters per square second, papalitan na natin siya. So, ang ipapalitan natin sa kanya ay newton. Okay? So, buray natin to, palit natin yung newton na unit. Therefore, Newton times 1 over cubic meters magiging Newton per cubic meters na siya. So, magiging kasama na siya nun. So, therefore, our final answer, syempre, yung 15. Kung irarandok mo siya. So, basic na basic lang, di ba? So, ganyan lang po kadali mag-solve ng problems under fluid mechanics. So, proceed tayo sa problem number 3. The specific gravity of mercury relative to water is 13.55. What is most nearly the specific weight of mercury? So, we all know that the specific weight of water is 62.4 pound force per cubic foot. So, solution for this. Let us recall the formula for specific gravity. Alam naman natin na yan ay ratio lamang ng density ng substance over the density ng water yung standard natin or pwede rin siyang specific weight ng substance over specific weight ng water so ang hinihingi is the specific weight of mercury so gamma ng Hg or mercury so gamma ng Hg kung pagbabasehan natin dito ito yon yung substance natin yung Hg standard natin yung tubig so gamma ng Hg will be specific gravity ng ating uh, mercury o yung Hg natin Hg ng Hg multiplied by the uh, gamma ng tubig or specific weight ng tubig natin okay and then next mong gagawin syempre substitute mo so gamma ng mercury or Hg o specific weight ng mercury is equals to 13.55 Okay, multiplied by the gamma ng water. Ano ba ang gamma ng water? Gamma ng water, recall natin, gamma is equals to density times the uh, gravitational acceleration. Okay, so gamma will be uh, 62.4, binigay naman ah, pound force per cubic foot. Okay, and then, syempre, Uh, i-convert na lang natin yan. So, ang hinihingi kasi sa atin is nakakilonewtons per cubic meters. So, kasi nakita niya naman sa choices, lahat ay nakakilonewtons per cubic meters. So, in 1 pound, there are 4.449 newtons sa kada 1 pound of force. And then, syempre, para maalis si cubic foot, so 1 cubic foot over 0.3048 So, 3048 yan guys Cube So, uh, cubic meters Okay 
So, ang next na mangyari, magka-cancel out tayo ng units. Cubic foot. Tanggal yung pound force. Matira, newton per cubic meters. So, gamma ng Hg. Siyempre, pag kinumpute mo yan, lalabas dyan is naka-newtons per cubic meters. So, solve natin. So, 13.55 multiplied by 62.4 multiplied by 4.44. And then 1 over 0.3048 cubic meters So, syempre Malaking value yan So, 132,843 Unit nyan So, lagyan natin ng point Nung decimal place nya 83.83 Unit nyan is newtons per cubic meters So, convert natin There are 1,000 newtons In 1 kilonewtons O 1 kilonewton rather So cancel yung newtons Matira kilonewtons Kaya ang gamma ng ating mercury Or specific weight ng ating mercury Ay 132.9 Kilonewton Per cubic meters Or pag Nag decimal place ka dyan Lalabas dyan ay 133 Unit is kilonewtons per cubic meters So, ito po ang ating sagot para sa ating problem number 3. So, we proceed to our problem number 4. For our problem number 4, if the specific weight of a liquid is 58.5 uh, pound force per cubic foot, what is most nearly the specific volume of the liquid? So, solution here. Recall ulit natin ang formula ng ating specific weight which is kapag mayroong involved na density siya ay density multiplied by the gravitational acceleration okay so therefore makuha natin si density dyan sa equation na yan which is specific weight over the gravitational acceleration since ang hinihingi is specific volume ng liquid na nakita rin sa choices lahat ay naka centimeters cube or cubic centimeters per gram so therefore uh, specific volume is equals only to the reciprocal of the density bakit? kasi ang density alam naman natin it is equal to mass per unit volume since ang specific volume ay kabaliktaran so specific volume is volume per unit mass so therefore Uh, reciprocal lang siya ng ating density So para di tayo malito Para madaling isolve Kunin mo natin si uh, specific weight So specific weight oh, May binigay naman 58.5 So anong gagawin natin kay 58.5 Pound force per cubic foot Convert natin siya Para mabilis tayong mag cancel out ng units later on Okay So burahin ko muna tong part na to So alam nyo naman na yung Uh, pagkakaiba ng ating density tsaka specific volume so specific volume is just only the reciprocal of our density so 58.5 pound force per cubic foot so convert natin so there are 4.449 newton per 1 pound of force multiplied by so para makancel si cubic foot so 1 cubic foot Meron siyang 0.3048 cubic meters. So, magka-cancel. Diyan ang pound force. And then, yung ating cubic foot. So, makakuha natin dyan na specific weight or gamma is 9,191.2. Unit nyan is newtons per cubic meters. So, yun yung lumabas natin na sagot. So, new, uh, newtons per cubic meters. So, ayusin ko lang yung pagkakasulat ito. Okay. And then, so, kunin natin si density. So, si density... Kunin natin dito sa equation na to. So, specific weight over gravitational acceleration. So, specific weight natin is 
yung newton gawin natin kilogram mass meters per square second so kilogram mass meters per square second uh, over yan 9.81 meters per square second okay so ito pa palang numerator meron yang cubic meters kasi nga ito newton pa lang to itong buong to so yung denominator nya is cubic meters so tanggal to tanggal to so magiging uh, unit mo dyan is kilograms per cubic meters so therefore ang lalabas natin dyan na density ay 936.9 unit nyan is kilogram mass per cubic meters so sa problem ang choices natin dyan ay lahat naka cubic centimeters per gram so sinabi ko kanina na ang specific volume is just the reciprocal of our density so ang gagawin natin so specific volume is uh, 1 over 936.9 kilogram per cubic meters so yung kilogram ay nakamas so matik na natin i-convert diretsyo na natin so therefore meron tayong Uh, dito na natin sa baba dugtong natin dito para isang buuhan na lang ayusin natin yung equation so para maayos na rin yung ano pag kakaintindi natin so 1 over 936.9 unit kilogram per cubic meter so requirement is gram per cubic centimeters so multiply natin sa 1 kilogram yung ibaba 1000 grams yung taas and then multiply pa natin sa so sa kada 1 cubic meters meron tayong 100 raised to 3 cubic centimeters so mangyari dyan magkakancel kilograms kilograms tatanggal yung cubic meters na dalawa so matitira is yung sa denominator mo grams over cubic centimeter so since nasa denominator siya so aangat si cubic centimeters mo okay so therefore our specific volume will be uh, 1.0673 cubic centimeters per gram or kung titignan mo sa choices saan ba siya malapit dun siya sa 1.07 cubic centimeters per gram letter D okay ito sya yeah. so for our problem number 5 which of the following are not units of pressure so basic na basic lang yan so solution para dyan we all know that the pressure is equals to force over the area Pares lang halos siya sa formula ng ating stress which is force over area. So kung makikita natin, ano ba yung mga common na ginagamit sa pressure? Yung kilopascal guys, yung letter A. Kung itatry natin yung letter A. Kilopascal equal yan sa kilonewton per square meters. So kung titignan mo yung formula na force per unit area, yung kilonewton is a unit of force. Yung square meters is a unit of area. So, therefore, letter A is a unit of pressure. So, letter B, let's try. So, newtons per square centimeters. So, again, balikan mo yung formula ng pressure force over area. So, yung newton is a unit of force. Again. And then, yung cubic, uh, square centimeters, rather, siya ay unit ng ating area. So, therefore, yung letter B is also a unit of pressure we try letter C so, sabi sa letter C bars so bars is a special uh, unit na ginagamit sa ating pressure so automatic na yan kasi bakit siya naging unit ng pressure meron tayong conversion na 1 bar is equals to 
100 kilopascals. So, dun pa lang, since equal naman siya sa 100 kilopascals, since kilopascal is a unit of pressure, therefore, bar is a unit of pressure. So, ano yung matitira? Yung letter D, yung kilogram per square meters. Check ulit natin kung ito nga bang sagot. So, kilogram, wala naman nakalagay kung uh, kilogram for siya. So, since wala siyang subscript, assume natin na nakamash mass basis siya. So, yung mass is not a unit of force. So, it is a unit of mass. Siyempre, yung M na yun. Yung kilogram. So, uh, yung iba ba is so, yun natin. And yung square meters, siyempre, unit ng area. So, mass over area siya. So, hindi siya weight over area. Kung weight over area yan, Pwede pa, kasi yung weight is a unit of force. So, acceptable pa yun. Yan, yeah, magiging sagot natin dyan yung letter D. Kilograms per square meter is not a unit of pressure. Okay? We proceed to problem number 6. So, problem number 6. A cylinder weighs 150 pound force. Its cross-sectional area is 40 square inch inches. When the cylinder stands... Vertically on one end, approximately what pressure does the cylinder exert on the floor? So, solution for this. Again guys, formula ng ating pressure is force over area. So, may binigay na area which is 40 square inch and meron kang force. So, yun na yung weight mo na 150 pound force. So, madali lang siyang kunin. So, pressure is force over area. So, 150 pound force divided by 40 square inch. So, yun nasa choices natin kasi na kilopascals. So, ang kilopascals, tandaan natin yan ay kilonewton per square meter. So, convert natin. So, in uh, 1 pound force, there are 4.449 newtons. And then, syempre, cancel na natin ito kagad. Yan. Yung inch is squared. Convert natin yan. So, in 1 inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. Also, there are 100 centimeters per 1 meter. So, syempre, naka-squared yan. So, square mo to. Squared mo to. Yan, mga yan. Okay? And then, mag-cancel out ka na. Check mo. So, inches squared, tanggal. Tanggal na rin yung centimeter squared. Matira, newton per square meter. Eh, dapat nakakilopascal ka. So, kilonewton per square meter. So, therefore, yung newton, gawin natin kilonewton. So, 1,000 newton, 1 kilonewton. Tanggal si newton. So, matitira is kilonewton per square meters. So, makuha natin sa kot dyan is 25.9 uh, kilonewtons per square meters or 25 0.9 uh, kilopascals which is closest sa letter B na 26 kilopascals okay ito po ang ating sagot letter B so let's proceed to problem number 7 so problem number 7 a column of water 100 centimeters high is most nearly equivalent to what pressure? So there are four choices here. Letter A, 9,800 dynes per square centimeters. B, 9,800 pascals. Letter C, 0.10 bar. Or letter D, 0.10 atmospheric. So solution for this. Gamitin natin yung formula ng pressure. Which is equal to gamma or specific weight of water multiplied by the height. So, specific 
weight is equals to the density of the water or the substance multiplied by its gravitational acceleration. So therefore, in terms of computing for the pressure, it's equal to density times the gravity times the height. So substitute lang natin. So pressure. So yung uh, alam naman natin na density ng tubig ay 1000 kilogram mass per cubic meters. So yan yung kanyang uh, value ng density ng tubig. And then syempre, gravitational acceleration natin which is 9.81 meters per square second. So therefore, dito pa lang yung kilo, kilogram per meters per square second, newton na siya. Okay? So tandaan nyo, meron tayong equivalent na 1 newton is 1 kilogram mass per meters per square second. So ito, newton na yan. Ito, ito, tsaka ito. And then, meron pa tayong height, 100 centimeters. Convert natin yan. Okay? So, syempre, 100 cm sa kada 1 meter. Cancel, cancel. Ang matitira sa'yo, uh, itong kilogram meters per square second, newton na yan. So, matatanggal tong isang m, matira to, magiging dalawa na lang to. Yung, ano mo, yung superscript na dito. Yung power. So, P will be 9,810 kilogram mass meters per square second all over square meters. Okay? So, syempre, yung kilogram mass meters per square second, newton na yan. Kaya, mangyari dyan, 9,810 newtons per square meters or... 9,810 Pascals So, ito po yung ating sagot Saan ba siya malapit? Kung makikita mo sa choices Pinakamalapit siya sa Letter B 9,800 Pascals Di mo pwedeng gamitin si Dine Per square centimeters Kasi hindi naman yung nakamap natin na unit Kukuha natin is Pascal So, therefore, yung pinakamalapit sa kanya ay Ito Letter B, 9,800 Pascal. So, we proceed to our last problem for this video. Problem number 8. So, for our last problem, problem number 8. What is most nearly the volumetric flow rate through a pipe 4 inches in diameter carrying water at a velocity of 11 feet per second? So, there are 4 choices here. Lahat yan ay naka cubic centimeters per second. So, solution for this. We all know that the uh, volumetric flow rate is denoted by the letter Q na malaki, which is Q naught, yung may tuldok sa itaas, equal yan sa area times the velocity. So, bakit ba nagkama sa formula ng area times velocity? Since ang unit ng ating area ay naka square meters, kung pagbabasahan natin yung SI unit, and yung ating velocity ay meters per second, so therefore, Pag pinag-multiply mo yung dalawa, makukuha mo dyan na unit ay cubic meters per second. So, kaya nga tayo nagkama dito sa area times velocity na formula. And then, next natin na gagawin, since meron na tayong gagamitin na formula para dyan, so, unahin natin si area. So, for our area, so, area is pi over 4 d squared. So, pi over 4, ang diameter natin is 4 inches squared so and then i-convert natin yan into feet squared so there are uh, 12 inch in 1 foot so square mo lang parehas yan para mag cancel out yung inch squared so 1 foot squared over 12 squared inch squared so magiging unit mo kay area is naka feet squared so, magiging 0 0.0872 square feet or feet squared. So, for our Q, again, area times the velocity. So, 0 0.0872 square feet uh, multiplied by the velocity. So, 11 feet per second. Ang inihingi sa atin, ay dapat daw 
uh, naka cubic centimeters per second. So, convert natin. So, in 1 foot, there are 12 inches. So, cube natin to. So, cube din natin to. Cancel yung dalawang, yung mga feet natin. Ating cubic feet. And then, in 1 cubic inch, there are 2.54 raised to 3 cubic centimeters. So, raised to 3 yan. So, cancel yung inches uh, cube natin. At yung tira sa atin is, yan, naka centimeter cube na siya. Ngayon, per second. So, magiging kasagutan natin dito is, for our Q, this is 27,155. So, silang natin yung pagkakasulot ng sagot. So, there are, there are 27,155. Uh, 105.9 cubic centimeters per second or let's say yan ay pag niround off natin 27,200 cubic centimeters per second so this is our answer for our last problem problem number 8 so 27,200 cubic centimeters per second so, that's all for this video. Kami salamat sa panonood. Again, this is Engineer John Diggia. God bless us all.